Hello, this is Dr. Mears. Today we are going to be learning about probability using a spinner. This spinner is from my kids game called Busy Town. So I just wanted you to see what it looks like. Um, and so you would spin and then you would move too. Now we're not going to actually be finding probabilities with this spinner right here. It's a little complicated because if you notice the move four and move three and move one look like they're probably twice the size as the pigsy and the search little search bugs. So I'm not sure um, if they are, I would have to actually find this, the area of the space to make sure. Um, so we're not gonna be using this spinner. We're gonna be using spinners that most um, games at fairs use, Chuck E. Cheese, if you've ever been to Chuck E. Cheese, if you've ever been um, to uh, Six Flags and their little game centers, um, their sections are usually the same. Casinos will be using this. And so let me share my screen with you because I made one. It's called, I actually named it Color Me Happy. And um, this is from the website, We'll Decide. And what we're going to be doing is, if you notice, they're all the, all the sections are the same exact size. Um, however, we have two greens, we have a red, we have a yellow, and we have a blue. Um, and let's pick a color. So why don't you think of a color in your head and let's see if it comes up. So I'm going to, I'm going to say, Hey, I'm thinking green because there's two, two of them, um, on there and only one of the other colors. So let's see what happens. Ooh, yellow came up. Um, so what we're going to do is find some probabilities with this spinner. And so when we find probabilities, let me just back up right here. Okay. When we find probabilities, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna write down some information. And the information that we're gonna wanna write down is going to be how many, I'm using Zoom here. Okay. How many spots each one, each one had. So green had two spots on the wheel, red had one spot, yellow had one spot and blue had one spot. So how many total spots did they have? There was five total spots. So knowing that, let's go and find some probabilities. And I actually wrote this all out for you. I'm gonna, I was, I wanna hide it, but I didn't prepare so well, did I? Okay, everything's opposite here. All right, so here we have the probability of it landing on green or spinning green. Now there were two green, so we're going to divide two by five, and that gives us a 0 0.40 or probability or a 40% chance that it lands on a green, on a white, on a green. That's because it was, uh, the color was actually white on the screen. Isn't that funny? It's like those tests that you take, like can you say the color or can you say the word? <laughs> okay, what's next? The probability of red. So the probability of red is point is one divided by five because there's only one out of five slots and that's 0 0.20. And so we see that 20% chance it lands on red. Now that's gonna be the same for, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. That's gonna be the same for yellow and blue because they all were one out of five. There's only one slot out of five. So they all have a 20% chance. So the one that came up the highest is green because we have two green out of five and the rest came up one out of five. Well, what happens if we are able to take a bet where it lands on more than one color? You know, so if it lands on, oh, sorry, there you go. Everything's backwards doing it from Zoom, <laughs> if it lands, the probability that it lands on red or yellow or blue. So now we have more spots to land on. So if we take the probability of red, take the probability of yellow, take the probability of blue, we're using the or connective here. And when we use the or connective, we're gonna add them together because we have, a we have three different chances here, red, yellow, or blue. So we're gonna add those together and we're going to get the probability of 0 0.60. So probability of 0 0.60 that it lands on a red or yellow or blue, that's pretty good. So that's a 60% chance. I will definitely take that over just selecting green because remember green was just 0.4, pretty close though. Okay, so how about both green and blue? So now the probability of green and blue can't be done. That's because the spinner 
especially the spinner that I have um, um, I had on the screen, will definitely land on one color at a time. So it can only land on one color at a time. That means that we're going to be needing two spins. We're going to be needing a green and a blue spin. Okay, so let's go to one more spinner here. And this is where the money comes in. Um, and so, whoops, I actually was spinning it. I didn't mean to, I wanna share my screen with you. Um, here we go. Okay, so this is called All About the Money. Oh, the $10 came up. <laughs> and so All About the Money, I wonder if it'll come up again. We're gonna, we're gonna check that out. Here we have All About the Money. And All About the Money, as you can see, we have a, we have a couple that have a zero on them. We have zero, zero here, zero here. So we have three zeros, one, two, and three. We have two ones and we have a five. And so when we spin this wheel, this is kind of like one of those fair games. When we spin the wheel, we're gonna get a dollar. Now that was supposed to, this little yellow slot isn't supposed to be, it's supposed to be divided. Um, you can't really see it, so it looks like a big yellow. There we have that area problem again, but this is the same size section here for each one. So let's spin it again. Let's see how much, th and this is where gaming gets fun um, because you're just like, you know, are we gonna win anything? So let's go back to our paper and let's write down some of our information. So all about the money had three spots that had zero dollars, one spot that had, I mean, sorry, two spots that had one dollar, one spot that had five dollars, and one spot that had ten. So in total, we have seven spots. Now, here's my game. Let's see if you want to play. You're going to pay a dollar to spin it once, just like we did. You win the amount shown. It was pretty funny that I spun that ten right before. If it lands on, if it lands on zero, you actually lose your dollars. You walk away with absolutely nothing. If you land on one dollar, then you break even. So you get your money back. That's not bad, okay? If you land on five dollars, you'll make $4 and then get your dollar back. So if you think about when, when you play these games, you have to always keep in mind that if you're giving somebody money, you're not automatically winning $5. You know, you're winning the four and getting your $1 back. So be careful of that. And then again, if it lands on a 10, you make $9 because you get your $1 back. So um, this has been, oh, so, this has been probability with a spinner. I'm not done yet. I want to ask you about the probability of landing on that 10. So if we had, if we did the probability of landing on the $10, which I kind of just hit the little button before I shared my screen by accident, it would have been a one out of seven chance. And if we, because there was one spot, terrible at the Zoom thing, one spot out of seven, and so if we divide one by seven, we get 0.142857. I'm gonna round it to the nearest hundredth. So I'm gonna round this to 0.14 because this is a two, which is lower. So we have a 14% chance of actually landing on that $10. Land on $10. So would you take this bet? Would you give a dollar and have a 14% chance of winning 10? You'd also have a 14% chance of winning a five because that's one, one, one spot too. Okay, now this is over. Um, I had to do Zoom because I had to switch back and forth between two screens. This is Dr. Mears. Hope this helped. All about the money. Color me happy. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon.